This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Monday, April 19th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Monday is usually our time to do a COVID-19 update. Um, it's an interesting thing that we do our COVID-19 updates as a church on Monday and the, the um, county releases their update on Tuesday. We So we may actually start shifting that around because a lot of our stuff as a church is dependent on um, the, the county's numbers that they report. I can say that in the last week, um, the number of COVID-19 cases reported in Lancaster County declined about 20% from the previous week. So that's really good news. Um, vaccine rates continue to be, uh, to be relatively high. Um, I, I talked to the director of the health department last week, and at this point, over 85% of adults over 65 years old in Lancaster County have been vaccinated. So that's really, really good. Um, now the county is starting to focus on younger folks under 35, um, including uh, down to 16, and, and it continues to be really, really important for our, all of us to get vaccines. Um, the, the county is aiming for at least 75% of, uh, of the adult population of Lancaster County to be vaccinated um, before they consider uh, the vaccination campaign a success. That's one of the things uh, that's the input into the, the COVID-19 risk dial, which will determine when and how um, our, our building is open for in-person events. Where we are right now, the risk dial is still at mid-yellow, which means that we are um, piloting outdoor events at the church. Um, we're looking at uh, hosting an outdoor worship service as uh, on, on Sunday, May 23rd. Um, and then another outdoor Thursday night service earlier in, in May, probably May 6th. We'll talk more about those as we get closer to them, but, but at this point we're actively seeking out um, places to, to um, places and times to have outdoor worship. It's exciting to think about what comes next here. At the same time, I, I feel like um, it's impossible to do an update today uh, without saying that today also in Minneapolis is closing arguments in the in the trial of Derek Chauvin uh, for for the killing of George Floyd over the summer. Um, I've spent a fair amount of this afternoon um, with the closing arguments on in the background. They're they're currently in a lunch break, and we'll see um, if the jury begins deliberating tonight. Um, there'll be more to say about that tomorrow. There'll be more to say about that. And in the days to come, you know, we talked about it as part of the sermon on Sunday. And, and I think in a lot of ways, the, the next few days um, will say a lot about where we've come as, as individuals and as a church and as a society since even last summer and how far we have to go. So... More on that tomorrow. Uh, for now, keep getting your vaccines. If you haven't already, um, see if you can make an appointment. Uh, they should be open to pretty much everybody now to, to at least start making appointments. And um, we'll see you soon.